Hi everyone, it's Monday and I thought I would do my um, empties because frankly I'm really sick of looking at this overflowing basket of stuff so I wanted to share that. And also um, I had mentioned that I would show you the dress I'm going to wear for the ball and here it is. I probably need to get it cleaned but basically it's very sparkly and it has a mandarin collar. It just sort of snaps up to the top and I like the color. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with makeup. So if you have any suggestions with this color and my skin tone, I'd be really curious to hear what you have to say. Um, so that's, yeah, that's my gown and that's what I'm going to wear. So let me get into the empties. First, I finished a green tea scrub from St. Ives. Um, I used this on my face. It's nice. It smells good. It smells, um, gosh, what does this smell like? It, I don't know. It smells really good, though. It's really fresh and clean smelling. And I, I may buy it again if it's on sale, but you know what? I don't really need so many face scrubs. I finished the Vanilla Passion Fruit Healthy Body Wash from La Vanilla. I'm actually wearing the perfume today. I love this scent. I love this product, and I will probably buy it again, but I wish it was more readily available than just at Sephora. Um, I finished a Cebu Spring Roll Hydrating Cleanser. I buy this at the salon. I used to get my hair cut at Bubble Salon, and that's a chain. I got my hair cut somewhere else recently because my hairstylist is gone, but love this product. We'll definitely get it again. I finished a Tree Hut Shea Extra Rich Moisturizing Body Lotion in Almond and Honey, and it smells like cherry vanilla, kind of like the original Jergens. I really like this, but I actually prefer the Brazilian nut one, which I'm almost done with. We, Kayvon and I, who is sleeping over there, have shared a Mustela Baby 2-in-1 um, hair and body wash, and it's gone. I go through these probably every two months. I love this. This smells divine. It smells... Gosh, I can never put a finger. It, it smells like if you've ever smelled L'Air du Temps or something like that. It smells, it's it's perfumed. It's not fruity. It's not f floral. It's just sort of perfumed in a really lovely way. And I, I really love this. This is a great body wash. I definitely will buy it again. I finished a, this looks really nasty, the Berry Signature Vanilla Body Wash from... Bath and Body Works, but I literally use this to just clean out the tub. Gross. Okay, the Brazilian Keratin Shampoo. Love this. Love this shampoo. It's fabulous. I love their shampoos. I'm not real hot on their conditioners. I finished, oh, this looks really nasty. The Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub from St. Ives. And I use this as a body wash, or a body exfoliator, and it's nice. I finished a Gillette Satin Care Passionista Fruit Shaving Gel. I love this. This smells really, really good. It smells literally like fresh peaches, so I like the way it smells. It smells very um, realistic and not synthetic, so I really like that. Sephora by OPI Nail Color Remover. I finished this. This was crap, and I won't buy it again. Redkin All Soft Heavy Cream conditioner. I like this quite a lot and I will definitely repurchase. I have a couple of them left. I There's like sometimes you can buy two two and get one free at Ulta so I kind of stock up but I really like this and I use it quite a lot. And then I have three mascaras. You know how mascara is. It may not literally be empty but you have to get rid of them after a while. This one I believe is literally empty. This is the Benefit They're Real. This is the first one I bought. I absolutely love this mascara at um, Sephora, if you put this in the search, there's a package that has a small one that comes with it, um, this size. So it's a good deal. This one's free, and this one lasts, you know, at least a month. So anyway, love it. Won't be without it. Same goes for this, the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I absolutely love this mascara. It's fabulous. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't move. And it makes my lashes look very good. So love this. And then here is the Prestige My Blackest Lashes. I don't really care for this. It's a very weird dry formula. This is the brush. It's 
you know, nothing to write home about. I, I don't hate it, but I definitely don't love it. And this one is pretty old, so I'm just going to toss it. So that was my empties this month. Um, I'm curious what I'll end up having empty next month, but I just, like I say, I keep it in a basket on top of a shelf in the bathroom and it was getting overwhelming and I just wanted to get rid of it. So otherwise, um, I'm just kind of excited about upcoming sales and events. There's some really awesome holiday products out there that are, you know, um, on the market right now. I like the Tarte Lip Set. That looks pretty good, if you like these. Um, you know, I have a come to think of it, I have a bunch of these from different sets and things, and I never really use them. They're kind of a weird packaging. I mean, I like it, but some people might not. It's a good amount of product. But there's a set of these, I think it's $35 for five of them. That's a killer deal because these are usually $24 a piece, which is way too much. But anyway, I um, hope you're doing great. I still am not wearing eyeshadow because I got itchies. But I have a product I'm going to show you in the near future that helps a lot. I've talked about it before, but I want to do a demo and show you how I use it. Um, otherwise... Hope you're having a great Monday morning. It definitely is a Starbucks kind of day in my mind. And it looks like a pretty day, so I'm hopeful I can get outside with kids. But anyway, I see him waking up over there. I will talk to you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.